Hi guys, this is Im Tariq from redscore.com. From this video, I am going to start new video series on Play Framework. And in this video, I will show you how to set up your development environment uh, in Windows operating system. So let's get start. First, you need to download JDK for uh, developing your application. So we need to go to google.com and type JDK 8 download go to this link and uh, from here accept this license agreement and then download JDK according to your operating system so for example right now we are on Windows operating system and uh, my system is 64 bit uh, let me show you how you can see so my operating system is 64 bit so i'm going to download 64 bit version of jdk click on this link and uh, it will download this jdk for you let's save it and it will take some time according to your network speed so i'm going to pause this video right now and i will be right back when it's done so here is my JDK that I just downloaded uh, from Oracle website. I'm going to double click on it to install it on my operating system. Next, next. And uh, it will validate and install all of these files for you. Now click on next. So JDK is installed and we can close this window. Now let's go to Google again. In Google type SBT download. SBT is build tool for play framework. So that's why we are going to download this one. So just click on this windows version because we are going to download it for windows save it and uh, download it after downloading you will get something like this just install it next and install perfect we are almost done last thing that we need to download is the ide for our play framework the id that uh, i'm going to show you in this video is intellij because uh, this is the main id that uh, i'm going to work on and i, I will code all of my tutorials in this id but uh, in the next video i will also show you how to set up your development environment in uh, eclipse so to download intellij you need to type intellij IntelliJ idea so here we have two options to download uh, IntelliJ for us first one is the ultimate version and second one is the community version community version is free and open source uh, you don't have to pay for it but for uh, you know ultimate version you have to pay for it because it's not uh, free or you guys can go to something called student program from IntelliJ so let's type in JetBrains, JetBrains student and you will get this link. Here all you have to do is you have to apply for student account. So you can use your university email, your student card and uh, your membership for apply for JetBrains uh, student account and you will get a free license key for ultimate version of uh, IntelliJ. So let me show you how it will looks like when you apply and get approved. Once your account will approved by JetBrains then you will be able to log into your account and uh, you will be able to use any product of JetBrain.
if for some reason you can't get a student account then there is third option that you can use is uh, IntelliJ IntelliJ EAP and uh, just go to this this link right there go to this so EAP stands for early access program and uh, in early access program you you guys are going to download this uh, IntelliJ ultimate version for free and uh, in return uh, JetBrain will get some data from your development so I'm going to install IntelliJ ultimate version select this uh, 64 bit launcher install while it's installing let's go to play website play framework go to download section and uh, download this starter project this for Java download this zip file save it go to open folder extract this now delete this uh, SBT files from here now press shift on your keyboard and right click and then click on this open command windows here here type this command sbt sbt space update it will update all of the dependencies uh, that uh, play framework requires and download it from the internet i'm going to pause video recording from here and uh, i will be right back when it's done intellij is installed now we can run it do not import setting and click on ok accept this agreement and now you need to either paste the activation code that you get from JetBrains or you guys can directly log into your JetBrain account. I'm going to log into my JetBrain account. And click on activate. Select your preferred theme and then click on next. Now click on next and click on start using IntelliJ. In IntelliJ, we need to install one single plugin. So click on this configure and then click on plugins. Here, click on browse repositories and here type in Scala. Scroll down and when you will get this Scala languages and then click on install. It will going to download this plugin and uh, install it in your IDE. Uh, this is the plugin that uh, will help us to compile all of those uh, Scala classes in Play Framework. So our project is also updating and uh, in the net in the IDE we are downloading this uh, Scala plugin. It will take some time so that's why I'm going to pause this video recording right here and uh, I will be right back when it's done. Now it's done with downloading all of these jar files and uh, our play project is ready to go and uh, it's also done with this uh, Scala plugin. Now let's restart this IntelliJ. Now here type SBT and press enter. 
it will take you to the play console and uh, from here we can compile our play project it is going to compile all of these uh, Scala and Java files while it's compiling let's import this project it's in downloads this is the starter project that we are going to include in our project select import project from external model and then select spt then click on next and now uncheck this and uh, uh, for very first time you need to specify the jdk so let's uh, click on this new and then click on jdk and here you need to go to program files java and select this jdk folder and click on ok now just click on finish click on ok allow access again allow access and then click on this close button let it index and here is your play project ready to go From here we can see that we have all of these default controllers. Let's say something like hello play. Now let's compile it again. We are getting some error here that's because uh, this sbt tool doesn't able to find this uh, java compiler so we have to specify path of uh, this java c file which is in our program file java jdk and bin and as you guys can see here this is the java c file i want you to copy this path go to properties of your computer go to advanced system settings and then click on edit environment variables and from here just uh, go to this path variable and click on new and paste uh, the path that you just copied and then click on ok then click on ok again and then close it close this window Go back to your project. Open command prompt here again. And write SBT and press enter. Now compile. It will take some time to compile all of these classes. Compilation is done. To run this play application, just type run. Allow access and uh, our play application is running. Let's check it out. Localhost colon 9000. So that's it as you guys can see that uh, we are able to run this play application. Let's get rid of this uh, simple page. Hello play. Now 
go back and refresh so that's it for this video and in the next video i will show you how to set up your development environment for eclipse ide and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos if you guys like this video then please like this video and if you dislike it then dislike it thank you so much for watching